Hey guys, it's Cascada. Let me take my glasses off so there's no glare. <clears throat> Sorry, it's been about a little over a week since I posted a video. Um, I was going to do the unboxing of my new tarot deck and the journal, um, <clears throat> which I did get those last Tuesday, I believe. Um, but late, late Sunday night, which was technically early Monday morning, we had a death in the family that has been very tragic. So the whole week last week, I was not up to doing any type of YouTube videos or anything like that. And then we had the funeral last Saturday. Um, I was running on zero sleep that whole week and pretty much Sunday night and yesterday I've been sleeping most of the days just because I've been so exhausted um, from being there with my family and just all of this like taking an impact on me you know especially with being an empath and you know everybody's emotions i i did cry um but it's it's just weird channeling all the emotions but um, <clears throat> we had the services and things are slowly um getting back on track um i'm not going to release any details about my family and what happened um just because it was in the news so much and i just don't want to go there um so the only thing i'm gonna say is you know just if you're so inclined to prayers and any vibes or anything is still very much appreciated because we are still trying to work through this and move on especially for the person of my family that the loss has affected and their children <clears throat> okay. so i am going to do the deck first And as you can see, I haven't opened this yet. It's been killing me. I wanted to open it first. Or I wanted to open it, you know, for the first time on camera. But, you know, I knew it would be a couple of days before I could do this video. So, <laughs> I really do deserve some type of adulting award for this deck. Because I have been, like, holding myself back from looking at it so this is the box it is tarot familiars i don't know why i keep calling it the witches familiar okay just want to make sure i get all the cards and again this is a deck that doesn't have a fancy book i don't like them when i don't have the fancy books um oh Okay. All right. So I'm trying to find directions in here on about the cards. Um, but I'm not finding. English, which is my main, just my main language. Okay. Okay, so it has the major arcana. And the main minor. So the only thing I'll have to say is this book, it does come in one, two, three, four, five, um, five different language, languages, um, Spanish, English, French, Dutch, and Portuguese. Um, but the one thing that I am giving a thumbs down on this book is it's not very detailed and it's kind of hard to flip through. 
because it just seems like one of those like cheap um, instruction manuals that you get with something that you built. Okay. <clears throat> and that's just the card. Doesn't really do anything. And here it has the website and directions again in all different languages. <clears throat> so like a regular deck, we are starting with the full. <clears throat> and, and all these cards, I'm just going to show it with this one, but it has the name of the card in the other languages here on the corners. So this one, we have a cat that looks kind of worn out, tired, laying on a jester hat with I'm assuming that is a royal, it's a card hand. Okay. And then we have the magician, who again is a cat. The high priestess. Again, we have the moon and the cat brushing up against the room that has the pinnacle. Sorry, I'm not trying to flip anybody off. Oh, and here's the back of the card. really pretty. It's Celtic and it's got some pentacles. Okay, and here we have the Empress, which is a Palomino paint horse with her colt. And the Emperor, we have the Stag with the Crescent Moon and the Ivy around him. Here we have the Hierophant, with the cat and the owl. And here we have the lovers, which as you can see is Red Riding Hood and the wolf. And this one, I love it. <clears throat> the chariot, it is a unicorn. And justice is a cat with a key and on the oh okay so it's Pandora's box <clears throat> okay and then the hermit as you can see the cat is looking out at the crescent moon with the lamp with the candlelight And here we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is a cat and a Ouija board. And for strength, we have a White Wolf. The Hanged Man is... I have to look at this closer, but it's a crow on a skull with a... Um, pentagram hanging down and there's a newspaper. I need to look and see what's on that newspaper. Okay, and then I'm taking, I'm actually taking time to look at these cards. Okay, so then we have Death, which I don't know if you can see, but it's a cat holding an hourglass and over there in the corner there's a cloaked figure in front of the clock. And Temperance is a unicorn mother and her foal. The Devil is a wolf in front of a pentacle. <clears throat> the Tower is an owl flying with a scroll with two pentagrams under it. <clears throat> And then the star is three cats looking at a constellation. One is looking back. 
the moon is a hair. And then the sun again is a hair. During the daylight hours, it looks like it's some type of Stonehenge. <clears throat> and then judgment is a cat that it looks like the cat is giving a tarot reading and there's a little um i'm having a brain fart <laughs> i know what i know what this is we all know what this is but i'm having a brain fart right now <laughs> pendulum i don't know why i was having a brain fart okay and then we have the world, which is an owl in front of a globe. Yeah, so all these cards are animal, they're animal centric. Okay, so the next one that we're starting with is the pentacles. And I'm not going to say the names of these because we all know the order. So it starts with the ace and then it goes in numerical order. And again, wolves for the knave. The knight. The queen. And the king. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, and then the next one, the theme for the cups or chalices, as some people call them, are owls. There's the ace. And that's pretty much how they look. Um, I'm not going to torture you with time wasted looking at multiples of cups. When we get to the names, then I will start showing those. So we're at the ten. And then we are at the knee. The baby owls. The knight, the queen, <clears throat> and the king. Next suit is swords. We are doing, I don't know if that's a raven or a crow. I'm going to go with that it's a raven. And then here's what the swords look like. And again, I'm not going to waste any time with this because up until we get to the knave let's see <clears throat> it's just all multiples okay so here we have the knave the knight the queen the king <clears throat> okay and then lastly we move on to the wands which this one, the theme is cats. And then here's just what the numerical cards look like. Two through ten. I'm just going to set those here. Because there's literally no other artwork. It's just the wand and the book multiplied. Okay, there's the knave. The knight. the queen and the king who is on the front of the box and the very first card that you pull out. Um, <clears throat> I got this deck because when I looked at it online, I love the art. Um, I like it that the cards are big, but they're not wide, how some of my other decks are. Um, they seem to have a good feel to it. They're glossy. They don't stick together um 
and some of the cards that some of the cards I like um, but I don't know if I actually really like the cards or not you know just because I get the different some you know the symbol tree or whatever the word is for animals but I don't know I don't It just seems like the images, to me, they don't really say a lot. You know, like the other the other deck I have that I did a video on, the White Sage Terror deck, that one's all animals, but still, it portrays like the knight, you know, the animal as a knight or as a king or a queen, but I don't know. I mean, I love the Major Arcana. But, you know, it just still for me, I'm still trying to figure out the symbolism. So this card, this deck is kind of iffy for me, which I mean, I guess that could be a thing I do where I just buy different tarot decks and review them. Um... Yeah, but I do love how the cards don't stick together. They're very glossy and smooth. Um, and I love the art. Two things I don't like, again, the things I talked about about the book. And then the artwork for the deck. I feel like it's a little lacking in some areas and the meaning behind it I'm trying to fit everything back in the box there we go Oh, no, this box is not made very well. That's another thing. <clears throat> because my White Sage Tarot deck, it sort of has a book like that. It's in English, obviously. So that one's a little easier to fit through. But the box, it's actually a tin. It's not like a flimsy cardboard box. So that would be a deck that I would have to like get a tarot box for just because some of my other decks I just keep them in the original box because I like the boxes okay and again I already have two books from or no I think I just have one book it's the spell book but this is one of the books by Amy Sasari it's a coloring tarot journal that has different spreads um places where you can write out your different tarot spreads. And then it has some spells and things like that. And it actually has all the different arcanas in here with the, with a rider weight difference. Okay. Yeah, I need to look through the book a little bit more, but And the one thing that's funny is it has fire safe witchcraft tips. And then here is the title page. Again, I'm not gonna go through a I'm not gonna go through a whole um 
flip through of this. Might just do the beginning. Okay. So there's that page and then another one where you can color. And then that talks about welcome to your tarot journal and discovering the secrets of inner guidance. And I just help it talks about your intuition as a tool and it talks about um, how to use the book. Like I said, just quick flip through. Um, there's another coloring page. Okay, and here it has a ritual to get to know yourself and your cards. And another coloring page, which I'm assuming you can do this spread and then draw in the cards that you get. Um, some tarot basics. Okay, and then it talks about some of the major arcana. Again, the different major arcana, and then it talks about the minor arcana. And again, some more stuff on the minor arcana. Um, it talks about reversed cards, which I know some people don't read those. <clears throat> but you don't technically have to have the cards in a reversed manner. To get a reverse reading, you can look at both and see what that card can potentially mean. And then it talks about how to read your tarot cards. <clears throat> I don't know. I. And then it goes step by step. Um, it talks about planning and reading your questions, sh shuffling and cutting and pulling the cards. And then it just has all these tips. Um, I talk about troubleshooting tarot, which I'm going to go through this later. And it talks about how to further your intuition for reading. I don't know. I love her books. I just, I love the art in them. Um, and again, it's just talking about furthering your intuition. And then we have another coloring page. Oh, consecrating and blessing. Daily draws and rituals. Talks about sacred space and time. Um, it talks about the three card spreads, the Celtic cross, um, tarot for creation and action, um, tarot for decision making, okay. and then there is this, which I might actually take this out of here and put it in my book of shadows but it's moon tarot and it has the moon phases and different tarot spreads and stuff to do for those moon phases but i actually think these pages might be perforated just because i know in her other book i have i think the pages are perforated um and there's nothing printed on the back of it Oh, and here's another one that I might put in my book of shadows. Just like rip it right out of here. 
It's the Sabbath and different tarot spreads to do for the days of the Sabbath. Alright, and then it talks about tarot numerology. Moody tarot. Calling. Page. Talks about using your tarot journal. Different ways to use your tarot cards, different questions to ask. Um, oh, on the back of the pages, I don't know if you can see it, but there's dot grids. And then there are some pages that are blank where the dot grid is there. So, here it gives you ideas for how to use the dot grid and the different pages. So, like, how you can draw and make the boxes and different things to put. And here it has ideas for tarot card spreads. And then here's a space where you can write stuff and it has like a little tidbit of information there. Yeah, so it has a couple of these pages that are like has some information there. Not all of those pages on the back have stuff like that, but those do. Um, there was some stuff back here in the back of the book. Oh, some more coloring pages, which I'm sure you can use these as spells. <clears throat> and here it goes into more depth on the Arcanas, major and minor. Like, here's the Minor Arcana. Cool. Okay. And... I guess here is a chart. Which you can probably copy and paste. Take this out of the book and then make copies of it but it's you put the month and the day and then you mark down on which days you draw these cards okay and then the one thing that before I said I was going to do my unboxing I did buy two things oh first I want to show you the box so I got a quill, and this is the box that it came in, and that it's going to stay in. But I got this beautiful quill, and it actually came with a little thing of ink. It has one, two, three, four, five. It actually has seven different tips on it. I've held this in my hand. It's very wonderful. And I got this palette of ink. It comes in different colors. Because I've always wanted a quill for my Book of Shadows. Just because I have different pens. I have ballpoint pens and everything like that. But I've never used a quill before. But just watching things, I love how quills write. So, let's try it out. I have my ink here. I'm just gonna set that there. I'm gonna set the cool down. I cannot get this open. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I have literally never used a quill before. 
in my life. So let's write in my tarot journal with my cup. Okay, and we have some ink. I'm going to have to practice with this, I know. Okay, this is going to bleed through a little bit. Yeah, it bled through a little bit. But like I said before, I have never used a quill before in my life. So I guess I'm going to have to do some practicing and some tutorials. Okay, so like I said, I have never used a quill in my life. And that actually has some pretty detailing on there. Put that back in there. I got some ink on my fingers. Alright, so there's my writing. Some of it bled. I messed up on some letters just because um, the quill acted like it was going to run out of ink but I don't know I just love the way that it writes and there's different tips here that I, don't know. I don't know what they do like I guess it's different quills for different styles of whatever 
you're doing. There we go. Okay, so let's see what this cool does. We got quite a bit of ink. That cool is I'm guessing this one is like a dripping type ink. I'm not sure because it's like I get the ink on it, but then it doesn't. Okay, this one, okay, so, that, that quill is very weird. It's like it just globs the ink. I mean, it writes really thick, but it just kind of globs the ink. Okay. So let's see what this does. Okay, and this quill you have to push down on it. So it like grabs the ink and then you kind of have to push down to get it out. Okay. Okay. a lot of ink that came out of that one. <laughs> oh no, but so far still liking the original quill. Guess I'm gonna have to watch some videos on this. Yeah, on different quill tips. Yeah, I'm still liking the original cold a little bit better. Hmm. So I guess this one, you kind of have to let it like drip a little bit. Yeah, okay. So like that of the first quill, that one, okay, so far that first quill was like the easiest one. Let me see if I can, okay, 
So that's enough for the quills. So as you can see, all that writing was the first quill and that was all the second ones. All right, so I'm gonna put my original quill tip back in here. I'm not gonna get it in there really good. Alright. So that is it for tonight. Um, if you made it through the whole video, congratulations. If you are new, subscribe. If you're a returning user, don't forget to comment, hit the like button. Um, this video is kind of long to make up for my absence, but like I tell everyone before, I love all you guys and all your support. I hope everyone has a good week. I will hopefully be back on later this week for a Book of Shadows update or some something like that. Bye guys.